guys, today we'll be making an adorable, poofy, bubble Christmas deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have an 18 inch wreath ring, 21 inch deco mesh in plaid and solid red, Chanel stems, and scissors. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have cut my stems into thirds. You can also cut them into fourths. So I'm going to start by just unraveling my mesh and you can see it's already kind of folding to a nice little point which is awesome and I'm going to place my mesh around the center like the cross ring for my starting point just to make sure it's nice and sturdy I'm going to take my stem and twist it around my mesh right at the cross point and then tuck it away so that gives me a nice anchor to start with now I'm just going to pull my mesh to make a nice little poof and this mesh is really like thick and it's softer than the normal mesh if that's okay and you can measure the size of the poofs if you choose to do so but I just kind of estimate take my stem place it around the center two rings and twist it a couple of times and then tuck it away next i'm going to start with my solid red and i'm going to do the same thing so i'm just going to start with a nice little point and i'm going to also start it on the first cross ring so just making sure it's nice and sturdy so i'm just going to repeat the same step with the solid mesh that I did with the plaid. Twist, twist, twist. So making sure it's nice and secure. Alright, so I have my plaid poof. Next I'm going to make a solid poof and attach my stem. Okay, and then come back with another plaid poof. So I'm just alternating, pretty much making a bubble wreath with two different patterns at once. And I think about three poofs in each section should be good. Attach this last poof to the cross ring just to give me a little stability. And twist it a couple of times. And tuck it away. And then just keep alternating all the way around my wreath. Kind of crisscross it. Make another poof. And attach my stem. And I crossed it over so that all of the red mesh wouldn't be on the inside and all the plaid on the outside. I wanted to kind of alternate that way as well. So another plaid poof. I'm just going to continue alternating all the way around my wreath. We're going to cross it once more and make a poof. And I'm still sticking with twisting the stem around the inner two rings, but you could twist it on the just the outer ring and then the inner ring, outer, inner. So this is what it's looking like so far. Let me show you once again how I'm doing it. So I have the solid red on the cross ring and I'm just going to cross the plaid over while making my poof. And then just attach it. simple bubble Christmas deco mesh wreath. I will link videos in the description box down below on how I make other styles of bubble wreaths with just one roll of mesh if you prefer that method. Okay, so adding my last poof, just going to just cut it, cut the mesh off the roll. I'm just going to connect both pieces together to finish it off and just attach it to my stem. 
I'm just going to flare out my poofs, make sure they're nice and poofy. And you can add in any additional embellishments you prefer. You can add an adorable sign to the center, ribbons, bows, ornaments, or you can just finish it off like this. I'm gonna leave it like this. I think it just looks so cute and precious.